Okay everybody, and welcome to a big update for Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. There has been pretty major changes to the Versus Ladder, and not to the primary Versus Ladder, the monthly one that we're used to. Changes in an addition of a secondary daily Versus Ladder, as well as the addition of a win streak system. Many people had complained about the previous versus ladder that we're used to, and that it tends to incentivize most people to do big binges of playing. Many people who had noticed that queue times may have been longer in the middle of the month, as well as many less people playing in the middle of the month, that most people tend to front load their wins in the versus ladder right at the beginning of the month and then toward the end of the month in the last few days, in order to try and get as many of their versus ladder rewards as they can. As you can see, I'm not really progress very far in this versus ladder myself. Partially this is because I already have almost all of the versus ladder rewards outside of the booster pack, and I already have Tapu Lele, so I'm not really hunting through packs of guardians for anything specifically. So I've not spent a lot of time playing this versus ladder because it's just not really been greatly incentivized for me. However, with the new addition of the daily versus ladder reward, this is a this is incentivized people to not just front load all of their playing into one or two days at the start of the month and then a little bit at the end of the month trying to eke out a little bit uh trying to eke out some of those higher tier rewards. The daily versus ladder has now incentivized people to play more often to spread it out to come in and play throughout the month more often than they had been in the past. They have also now added a win streak system, so you're going to be getting more points for getting win streaks. As many people who had played the versus ladder noticed, you can get either 10 or 15 points for a win, and whether you were on a win streak or not didn't really seem to have any indication as to whether you are going to get 10 or 15 points. It seemed to be pretty random overall. However, now, the higher win streak you go on, the more points you are more likely to get for each win, allowing a good player with a good consistent deck to climb the ladder significantly faster than a player who is just trying to grind out wins as fast as possible. I know I personally, when I was trying to climb the ladder, would not use my Shedinja deck very often, because even though I love this deck a lot and it's my favorite deck to use, it is a slower deck, and although its wins were consistent, the fact it was much slower meant that I didn't like to use it when I was grinding, that I would rather use my Lucario deck or my simple fighting deck and this was for a few reasons one of which is though even though those decks have lower win rates than Shedinja does I would use them because they won or lost significantly faster allowing me to overall get more matches in the same amount of time meaning that even if I was winning at a lower percentage the fact that I could get in significantly more matches allowed me to get more points on the versus ladder in the same amount of time and the new win streak system has disincentivized that making it so that now people can play slower decks and still climb at a reasonable rate because win rate and going on streaks matters a little bit more than simply just grinding out as many games as you can in a certain period of time this also helps to disincentivize the people doing the legacy coin flip method of grinding the ladder if you did not know, many people would go into a legacy match, they would queue in there, they would flip the coin, and whoever had the coin flip, whoever was doing the coin flip, they would signal to the opponent that they wanted them to do this thing. The other person would signal back, and the other person would concede. And this was an incredibly fast way for people to grind out tons and tons of matches, where they could just queue in, see the coin flip, and, and concede, or the other person would concede. And you could grind out a whole bunch of matches incredibly quickly this way, and climb out through the versus ladder very quickly. However, doing that method, you only have a statistical 50-50 chance of winning, meaning that you're very unlikely to go on big win streaks, meaning that you're very unlikely to get this win streak bonus, making the climbing, while still fast, relatively slower when compared to somebody who's just playing well on the versus ladder normally. So, let's take a look this is daily versus ladder itself. 
As you can see on the Daily Versus Letter, there are coins here as well as these present packs, these mystery packs. From what I can tell so far, these mystery packs can have about the same thing as you could get out of the mystery packs from your end of game wheel, from the wheel that you would get for playing a normal match. You could get anything from coins to prize tickets to even booster packs on rare occasion. These do seem to be similarly randomized in the way of the, pa the uh, prize wheel that you would get at the end of a match if you won. And so the the prizes out of these do seem to be similar for that. The one that I got here it got me 50 coins, and I've seen many other people echoing the same thing on Reddit and on Twitter. As you can see here, as you move up, the prizes generally tend to get better. That You start out by getting a few packs here at the beginning. Um, I do like that they front load some of these better rewards, some of these packs, because most of the time opening these present packs, you're going to be getting at least 25 coins or better out of here and so I do like that they front load these that you don't need to play a lot in the day to get some of these better rewards and get the chance of getting booster packs and things like that as well as as you move up you're going to be getting more coins so up until six wins on the daily versus ladder you're going to be getting 10 coins and then you're going to be getting 15 at 10 wins you're going to be getting 20 and then 11 is where you stop getting your unique reward 11 is your final prize present box and then every win over 12 that you get is going to give you another five coins. So every single win that you play over 12 is going to give you just another five coins. So you're not going to be get able to just chain win 20 coins over and over and over. Once you get past 11 wins, you're going to start just getting five coins for every win after that. And I think that overall this is a pretty great system to help incentivize people to play more variety of decks on the Versus Ladder. It's a good incentive to give people to play the Versus Ladder over the course of the month. I do like this as well because it incentivizes somebody like me who has a relatively established collection because sometimes the versus ladder rewards simply just aren't great for somebody like me that I already have dozens of float stones. I don't really need anything out of Guardians Rising and I already have a full set of Zygarde so this versus ladder isn't really super interesting to me. But I will continue to play for the chance of opening these packs, so the chance of coins and event tickets, and the possibility of getting things out of these mystery packs, as well as just grinding out the coins. And so this is a little bit of an extra incentive for people who maybe aren't super excited by the versus ladder rewards to try and play a little bit for the daily rewards and keep them coming back. And so I think overall this change is great, incentivizing people to play higher win rate decks rather than just decks that play quickly using the win streak system, as well as changing up with the new daily awards, incentivizing people to play more across the month rather than just front loading it all right when the event opens or right at the event ends to try and get as high as they can. Um, I think these are some really good changes and I'm really excited to see how this sort of encourages people to play and how this changes stuff up. And as always, adding in new ways for people to get things for free is always awesome. Adding in new ways for people to get coins and event tickets and booster packs for free is just going to make the players better by giving more free to play players and more people access to more booster packs and more event tickets, which is going to make everybody's decks and collections even better. So overall, this is a great change and I'm really happy to see this and I'm really excited to see how this shakes out and what more of the community's reaction is. As you guys can tell, I'm generally very positive on this. Well, I think that the big versus ladder does need a little bit more changing. I think it's not perfect yet. I do think that the addition of the win streak system as well as the new daily ladder is a huge, huge positive change for the versus system, making people a lot more incentivized to play this. And I definitely am going to be grinding out quite a bit today uh, to see what I can all get out of these new boxes as well as trying to see if I can get up to my 11 wins today. But with that being said, I'm going to get back to grinding on the ladder. I'll let you guys go. If you guys have any questions or comments about anything that you saw today, any of the versus ladders, let me know what you guys thought about this new versus ladder change. Are you guys going to be playing more because of this? Are you a free-to-play player who's finally excited to start getting some more daily rewards? Were you somebody like me who was using a faster yet lower win rate deck over a slower but more consistent deck? I know this was a thing that I've been talking with some people about that I've been noticing. Um, and overall, I think this is a pretty good change. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. And as always, let you guys go. Hope you all have a great day. And I'll see you all next time. 
Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoy this content and want to see more from me, please feel free to subscribe. If you guys want to leave a like, comment, anything like that, please do that all below. And as always, this content is brought to you by your kind support over at Patreon. Thank you.